he does want to say hi. So here she is. Okay, Bean, you done? So we can film. Beanie, Bean, Beanie, Bean, Bean, Bean. No peace. Okay, dinner. Well, of course, with a little help from M and Beanie. Hey guys, Happy New Year! I'm super excited for 2021 and I hope you are as well. 2020 has been a crazy year and I'm excited to start our first video of the year on this channel with a what I eat in a day. I've seen a lot of videos like this lately and it's super interesting to see how people are incorporating different elements to their meals and I love food and if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I'm a huge foodie. So we are in for a treat with another food video. For breakfast, I generally like to keep it simple. I admit I am guilty of sometimes skipping breakfast completely and jumping straight to brunch or lunch if I have a late start today or if I have a busy day. But today, we are going for breakfast. Usually I have scrambled eggs or turkey bacon or honestly leftovers from dinner the night before if I'm super hungry and don't really feel like whipping something up. Lately though, I have been obsessed with this strawberry jam. This strawberry jam. Oh, got that. Strawberry jam. I usually like to toast some bread. This is the artisanal. Oh, let me. It's really super soft and fluffy, and I really like it. And I usually have this with the bon maman. Bon maman. It is this brand of strawberry jam. Let me focus it so you guys can see it better. I've had Smuckers before and they're generally way too sweet and taste a little bit too artificial. So um, I actually used this for a baking video and totally fell in love with the jam. So excited for this. I usually don't like a glass of milk so I usually go for a glass of juice. Whatever I have, I recently got some apple cider, so today we're gonna go with that. Yo, yo, yo. You guys might have seen me not reach for the end piece. I'm guilty of not being a big fan of the end pieces. Like I love them little slices like this. Bean! My God, why are you on the counter? Bean, can I please? I'm just trying to make a piece of toast. This is transgression number two. I, I don't know if anyone actually Yo, 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 yo I, I don't know if anyone actually does this, I mean You know how it always says shake well So we gotta, oh my god Beanie Guys, today she will not let me film. So, I don't know if we're ever gonna get this video done or if I'm ever gonna get to eat breakfast at this point. I usually only drink half a glass, guys. I don't drink that much juice, so. Me. Hopefully now I can eat. So we have our apple cider and and we have our very messy strawberry jam on toast. Let's move on to the living room area. 
Hey guys, so we are now in the living room. I had to turn on the light because even though it's morning, it's a super cloudy, murky type of day. So we are working with the lighting here. I'm going to put on an episode of New Girl and just munch on a little bit of breakfast. Look how glossy this jam is. So good. Okay, I don't know how you guys eat bread. I'm guilty of eating the crust first because I don't really like crust. I'm serious, if you guys haven't tried this jam before, I highly recommend it. It's my favorite and honestly the only strawberry jam I like. It's okay. Most of the jam was salvaged. For the rest of the video, I'll be filming, relaxing. No. Yeah. Oh my god, no peace. Beanie, you're blocking the camera. Thank you. Story of my life, guys. No peace will be granted. I recently finished a Chinese drama, guys. My mom and sisters actually put me on this show. It is the, um, I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's called, uh, I think it's Yangtze Palace is what it's called. And it's so good, guys. If you're looking for a show to watch, it is long, there are English subtitles, and it is translated into other languages. So if you're interested, I would highly recommend you guys seeing it. Super excited for lunch. I uh, Usually I do cook, but today since I have some leftovers from my mom, my mom's an amazing cook, I'm excited to um, heat them up and I'm probably just gonna have these for lunch. So first off, I have some noodles. Basically, first we have some of the noodles here. They're already been cooked. And now we have a seafood and pork, basically medley. And these are all the toppings that go on to the noodles I'm gonna eat and heat up. And then last, I also have some egg drop soup. There's some tofu, and corn. is also Beanie's time. You guys can't see it right now. She's laying at the edge of your feet, your metaphorical feet, or camera's feet, your feet, same thing. So I better give her some food as well. Today, she is getting some liver and chicken feast in gravy, grilled by Fancy Feast. Yep, she loves it. Cat food ASMR. I'm going to be eating this bowl of noodles here. And the bowl of sauce and topping I'm definitely gonna be sharing with M. And then last I have my bowl of soup here. After lunch, I did get a little bit hungry, so I'm going to eat a little bit of Jie Thai. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's a Vietnamese dessert. Usually you have, it's almost like a... Also, courtesy of my mom. Shout out to my mom for being a great cook and making all sorts of things. My mom and my sister made this. Um, 
just gonna use this to scoop it out into a glass and show you guys. It usually has some pandan jelly, um, jackfruit, longans, so a lot of yummy stuff. And I forgot to put ice in here. Okay, I kind of failed the first time, so I poured a little bit out, added some ice, and now we're good to go. So pretty. It's, it looks lighter on camera, I think, but it's a slightly darker green in real life. The color comes from the pandan jelly that you see here, which is the jelly, jello things, and the yellow from the jackfruit. Super sweet and refreshing. Okay, now I'm going to enjoy my jetai and watch an episode of Marrying Millions. I'm low-key quite obsessed with it. There's a lot of cringy moments, but it's good. Mm. Tonight I am going to make dinner and well, of course, with a little help from M and Beanie. But tonight I'm trying a new recipe. So it is supposed to be a type of meatloaf with some potato wedges and string meat. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's supposed to look like. So here is the expectations photo. It looks delicious, but we will see. I'll actually pop you guys here because I think the lighting might be a lot better for you guys. I'll just prep here instead. This is my trusty air fryer. I love it. So now I'm gonna throw the potatoes in instead of the oven because I like that extra crisp that the air fryer gives. Super easy, I'm just gonna toss them in. Oh, I have already tossed potatoes and a little bit of salt, pepper, drizzle of olive oil. Do 10 minutes first and then I'm gonna flip them. Bear with me guys. I love how the legs only good from here and above. Alright, we are going to work with this. It is all good. Next, I'm going to be washing the green beans. This cat is forever trying to serve you and I'm trying to fill up the baby. No counter. You, you go down now. Bean! So I accidentally clumped up the gravy a little bit with the flour. They said sprinkle it. I sprinkled it in, but all at once. So that might have been a mistake. Me love so done. They look good, I think. String bean gravy that is slightly clumpy. And yummy potato. Voila, dinner is ready. Oh 
I am all ready to eat dinner. Show you guys one last close up before I dig in. I'm a little bit nervous because the last time and only time I have ever had meatloaf is from the school cafeteria in there. Meatloaf was horrible. I like this recipe. It's pretty good. I thought it would be really dry. Because the ones I've ever had in school cafeterias, they were um, not only flavorless, to be honest, like really bland. Like it didn't have ketchup on top or gravy or anything like that. It was usually this really sad looking thin piece of meatloaf. You got no sides, except for like really bad instant mash. And so all that time I thought I didn't like gravy. I just didn't like school cafeteria gravy. I would rate this recipe, if I didn't clump the flour, I would have rated it higher, but I think I will rate this recipe based on taste. An 8 out of 10, I would actually eat it again. I would actually make it again. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing what I eat in a day. It kind of changes, but generally, I usually like to cook one of the recipes that I've had before or try a new one like today or have leftovers like I did for lunch. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe, give a like to the video, and if you have any suggestions for me on my next video or content you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Happy 2020. I think we're still allowed to sit. Wait, no, it's not 2020. New Girl or an episode of whatever show it is, things like that. 